I, Akoko, Obanda, Nyarimbo, came to this homestead of a world Kembo, chief, as a pure girl 19 seasons old. In all that time, I was taught nothing but the ways of cheek and how to conduct myself as a woman of impeccable birth. Never has my mother or my father taken me out in the dark for the purpose of showing me how to cast spells or how to rule a potion to snare the hearts of men. I was taught that the ways to keep a man was the work of my hands and the words of my mouth. My great uncle, Obanda, whom many have been named after, was a great healer. He was known to cause no harm to others and frequently sent off those who sought out trouble for others with a fling their ears. Has anyone ever seen me gossiping with other women at the waterhole? Do I not rise early to till my lands? Have I ever begged for food from you, my mother-in-law, as all your daughters-in-law do? Do I not always have enough to eat and more leftovers to butter in exchange of cattle, sheep, and goats? Children are a gift from Were to both the deserving and their deserving. Do not even murderers, witches, and sluggards who can't even feed themselves have children. Shall I spit in the eyes of Were and deny that he has given me children? Were creates a child in a mother's womb in his own time, at his own volition. I have not stood in the way of my husband and other women. He is the chief. I cannot order him either to marry or not to marry. Much has been said by the daughter of the people of Asembo and her son Otieno about the 30 head of cattle that were given to my father as my bride price. It causes much bitterness that I have not borne 30 children in exchange of those cattle. Indeed, my frequently presence here causes them bitter allusions to them. Therefore I shall lift their gloom and suffering and depart from here to go back to my father's house. Be it known that my father was wealthy without those cattle, and he would have remained wealthy without them, for none of my twenty-one brothers is wifeless. Be it known also that the wealth I have created in this home is more than double the number that was paid for me. This everyone knows. So when I reach home, I shall request the council of Jondogo to convene the proceedings of our separation. My people shall return your cattle, and you shall give me back mine. 